It's the most wonderful time of the year, except for flying, driving, and anything that has to do with any transportation. Hey, how to crew, it's me, Andrea. The holidays are fast approaching, yay! That means gifts and wine and time with the family, or if your family and you don't get along, gifts and wine. It is all fun and games when you finally get to your destination, but getting there can be a really, really big headache. But here are my tips on how to survive holiday travel. This is a general rule of thumb that's good all year round. Tuesday and Wednesday are the cheapest. The most expensive, Friday, Sunday, and Monday. You're not the only one thinking, oh, I'll avoid the Sunday thing, I'll go on Monday. Everyone else is. This might sound counterintuitive, but fly on the actual holiday. Not only are the airports and roads generally just deserted, but most people are in the holiday spirit. So flying is actually a very enjoyable and cheery experience. Plus, prices are cheaper too. If you're worried about getting to your destination, here are a few tips. Book a non-stop flight for obvious reasons. If you must fly through a hub, try to pick one where they don't usually have bad weather or are notorious for delays. I'm looking at you, O'Hare. Early bird gets the worm. I know it's tough, but book the first flight in the morning. As a general rule, every hour, you can expect to add one minute of delay to your departure. And by 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., there's an average of 20 minutes of delay. Airports tend to reset overnight, so that means the likelihood of you getting delayed first thing in the morning, very low. When booking your flight, it's really easy to just go with the smallest price, like, oh, it's $5 less, I have to do it. But always remember baggage fees, okay? Especially when packing heavy for the holidays. There are ways to get around baggage fees, loyalty programs, or certain airlines like Southwest. Now, loyalty programs, that's if you have status with an airline, which is really hard to get, or if you buy a credit card through an airline, very easy way to get a free first checked baggage. And just make sure you do not go overweight because all that savings, <laughs> Overages are crazy expensive. If you're gonna be traveling like a pro, learn to do carry-on only. You might be thinking, hold up, Andrea, Scrooge, gifts. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It is a rookie mistake to give anything that is big, heavy, or has liquid in it, or to ask for anything big, heavy, or that has liquid in it. You know what this means? Everyone's getting a gift card, you get a gift card, and you get a gift card, and you get a gift card. It's basically money, and who doesn't love money? This is why I'm wearing green. If you must send a gift, order it online and have it shipped directly to where you're going. It's not like you can wrap it in your luggage anyways. TSA will tear through that. Trust me. TSA PreCheck is a complete game changer. Why? You will never have to factor in security. You're talking maximum 15 to 20 minutes to get through security every single time. It's the fast pass. If you go to Disneyland, you're gonna pay extra for the fast pass. It's worth it. And do you know how much extra you have to pay? It's $85 for five years, AKA $17 a year. That's like three coffees at Starbucks, which you're not even gonna need anymore because you're gonna go straight on the plane. Cause you have to get up early. Just go, ding. Another way to save money, Uber and Lyft. Taxis are really expensive and they can have huge wait times. Most major airports now offer Uber or Lyft pickups. I will say it can be a little bit confusing on where they actually pick you up, but the amount of time and money you'll save by using them is well worth it. My ultimate piece of advice is stay home for the holidays, especially if you live far away. My pet peeve is when people only travel for a holiday. That's why you think traveling is expensive and unaffordable. For me to travel to Chicago, I could also also for that money go to Bali and I'm not even exaggerating. Now you might be thinking, wow, that is really depressing, Andrea. No, it's not. You are gonna be rolling in dough. I do understand family is important. <laughs> So when it comes to the holidays, I always say pick one. Thanksgiving, Christmas or Hanukkah, we'll just call it Chrismaka, or New Year's. And I always pick Chrismaka. Thanksgiving is the most expensive time and New Year's is always a disappointment. <laughs> Plus, you're gonna get gifts. Well, if you've been good. And you're gonna save so much money that you can go to Bali and see your family another time when it's gonna cost like 80% less. Everyone's happy. Happy holidays, everyone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did and wanna see more, make sure to press that subscribe button and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Nice until proven naughty. Ooh.